Right, I'm going to show you today how to tie the snail knot. Um, been popularised by Terry Hearn for such rigs as the Chod rig, um, the stiff hinged rig as well. Uh, the beauty of it is that unlike a knotless knot, uh, the line doesn't actually exit the uh, eye at any angle, it all stays in line. Um, it's a very good strong knot as well. So we're going to go and show you how to tie it. It's quite tricky not to get your head round as to how to tie, but once you've tied it, it should be simple enough. Right, with this snail knot, uh, you need an out-turned eyed hook and a length of bristle filament, about a foot long, to give you enough to work with. If you don't want any wastage, you can leave it attached to the spool, but I've cut off about a foot here. Uh, first, pass the filament through the back of the the eye of the hook and you need to leave yourself obviously a tag in there and form a reasonable sized loop. Right, pinch in both bits of line just above the eye, keep a grip there and what you're trying to achieve with this snail knot and it is a bit awkward to get to start with until you get your head around what you're doing, what you're trying to do is pass this and this bit of line here around the two bits of line and obviously the shank of the hook. Okay, so gripping it there, we go round, and then we've got to go up, and then you've got to turn your fingers so it can go up again, and you need to go up seven times, whipping round and spinning it to go round. One time, okay. And then moistening the knot like you should do all knots. Grip it there, and then pull in the exit of line there through the eye, tease it all up. Don't pull it too tight at this point. Tension the other end and then you've got the barrel on the shank of the hook. If you tease this down to the eye rather than trying to pull it down, you're not going to damage the material any more than necessary. Okay, pull it right down. Pull it up tight and then using a baiting needle or a hooker or at this space, obviously it's scissors, pull it all down nice and tight. Okay, so you have a finished knot, both perfectly line up the back of the hook, not kicking out at an angle and if you're using like a chod rig or something all you need to do is pass the ring on to this tag, pass it back through because you've only got one, it's a lot easier than a knotless knot because you've only got one piece of line going through rather than two. Uh, pull it through there, cut it off and then blob it in the sort of traditional way. And that's the finish now, not very strong, exits and entrance, all in line. Mm -hmm.